communists in this country. Their fuel, what powers them, their sor the source of their power. Two things in this country. Their lies and your apathy. Not you specifically. I'm not worried about you. I'm talking about your neighbor, Norm. We'll get to that in a minute. But why are we talking about this? Well, listen. We have a problem on the right. And we've had a problem for the longest time. We are getting better, if you want to feel better about something. But we have this problem on the right. It's a human thing that we do. But we take our value system and we project it onto other people. All human beings do this. All human beings do this. You see somebody, uh, you know what, Here, here's a great example. If you saw a wallet right now, if you saw a wallet on the sidewalk, you would probably try to find whose wallet that was, right? Maybe if you're right by a building, you would think about going in, turning it into the lost and found. Maybe you'd go through it. I, I got to find this person. That's your moral code. A wallet, if someone lost it, you wouldn't take a dime from it. You would try to give that back to them. It is human nature to see a man walking down the sidewalk, maybe with his wife. Okay, so it's a family. It's human nature to look at them walking up to that same wallet and think, oh, nice, they're going to grab that. They'll probably turn it in. It's human nature to assume that. But the communist does not share your values. And us thinking he does creates an apathy in us that he thrives on. Now, let's deal with the two things for a minute. Lies. Obviously, one leads to two. The lies lead to the apathy. The communist lies about everything at all times. And you know what's wild? They're honest about their lies. And this is what I mean. This is what I mean. If you have maybe read the Anti-Communist Manifesto by Jesse Kelly, you know this. But in all seriousness, they write this down all the time. Common statements. You see videos of this now. They've written it down in the past. Statements like, we can't let them know what they're doing, what we're doing. Hey, we have to keep this quiet. I could show you undercover videos of teachers saying that today. I could show you letters the communists are writing to each other throughout history. They're very honest about their lies. Keep this quiet. Hey, be subtle about this. We can't let them know what they're doing. Why the lies? Well, they know what they want is horrific. They know you don't want what they want. So they lie. You look at the positions of the modern Democrats today, the Democratic Party. If you go down it issue by issue, and look, you don't have to be a Republican to think like this. Independent, if you're an honest Democrat, you'll see this. Every single issue, the talking points on the issues are outright lies or shading the truth so much nobody, nobody who reads it would ever understand what you're talking about. Of course, abortion is a great example. What is it? It's women's reproductive health. What? What are you talking about? Women's reproductive health? What? Every single issue lies. Because if they actually went down the list, taxes, abortion, the border, everything else, and were honest with you about what they believe, everyone would, no Democrat would get elected ever. Everyone would reject the party. They must lie at all times. And that leads to your apathy. Not, again, specifically you, your neighbor, Norm, your brother, your mom. They agree with you on all the issues, of course, but they don't think it's that bad. Oh, it's not the end of the world. Jesse, what are you talking about? And this is the problem. These people are religious. They're religious zealots. We are not. And if we are religious, if we do practice, if you're uh, a practicing Christian or Catholic or a Jew or something like that, oh, you probably practice it, but it doesn't frame your political view. It does frame theirs. I want to applaud Dome, which I rarely do, but she had a moment where she was quite honest. And do keep in mind before I play this clip, the word democracy. They love this word. They've fallen in love with this word. Why do they love this word? Well, because it's, again, another lie. One, we are not a democracy. In fact, we are not supposed to be a democracy. The founders warned over and over again about the dangers of democracy. Benjamin Franklin famously said a democracy is two wolves and a sheep voting on what to have for dinner. You're not supposed to have a democracy anywhere. 
because then it's majority rule and the minority, whatever they want, they just get stomped on. But Democrats also understand that the dumbed down American public that went through our government education system doesn't understand the difference between a democracy and a republic. And they also understand that the low T GOP will surrender to their language and use their language, thus giving them a leg up because again, they use language with a purpose. We use language by accident or whatever language we see. The communist does not operate this way. But Dome, when she wakes up in the morning, you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Here's, here's something you might do. You wake up in the morning, you have like a, a Bible app or something on your phone. Maybe you wake up in the morning and browse social media and maybe you log in, look at your verse of the day. Oh, nice. Look at that. John 316. What does the communist do in the morning? Here's Dome. Share with me, what is it that you have on your mind when you wake up every morning? Our democracy. Democracy, of course. Now, what does she mean by that? She means destroying your freedoms, taking away everything from you, your First Amendment, your Second Amendment. It's what they think about. She's not alone. Maybe you're just saying, oh, Dome spoke out of turn. They all talk like this now. They all love that word because they all went up to the hive mind and they took their little cords and they pr plugged it in and they got their updated programming. And that updated programming said this, democracy, democracy, democracy. Use that word over and over and over again. Eventually the right will even adopt it and we will use it to steal their freedoms. They love the word. We are in a, a struggle between democracy and autocracy. Democracy is under assault and we cannot pretend otherwise. One of the issues that's obviously going to be at stake on this election is democracy. That we refuse to let extremist so-called leaders dismantle our democracy. The only way to save democracy is if we together Fight for it. On the one hand, our democracy is being threatened by extremists who want power at all costs, even if it means burning us to the ground. On the other hand, gas is $4 a gallon now, so... There's something else at stake. Democracy itself. That democracy is on the ballot this year. And they're deeply concerned about it. That's right. Always remember this, because this applies so much to more than the word democracy. The communist doesn't use language by accident. He carefully selects the language he's going to use. He disseminates that out to the commie masses, and they all adopt the exact same language, always with a purpose. The purpose is to destroy his enemies. That is how the communist thinks about everything. These people rant endlessly about democracy because they have bad plans for you. And do keep in mind, they're honest about that every now and then. Remember when Corinne Diversity Hire got up the day after Joe Biden gave that speech and called you an enemy of democracy, a threat to democracy, and she was asked why the United States Marines were standing behind Joe Biden while he gave a political speech in uniform. And what does she say? The United States Marines are standing there because they're the defenders of democracy, of course.